Welcome to this video. We are going to compare two AI platforms. The first one will be Common Sense Machine AI, and the second one will be Dream Gaussian. So, in order to create a case study, I made use of Leonardo AI to generate the image of a chair. So the chair, the chair shape is inspired by by the Panton chair. As you can see, a wide variety of chairs were generated over here, and out of those. I extracted this photo as a reference and this is the input that the common sense machine AI created. As we can see over here we have a lot of material on the um, on the middle section while over here it should uh, it shouldn't have that material within the reference. So I will download the, the user image as we can see this is the raw image. So I'm just gonna save this. I'm gonna edit over here. It should be web upload. And within the Dream Gaussian platform, I'm gonna open that same image. So let me jump to desktop and I will drag and drop that image over here. Now we can start this to generate. I'm going to hit generate 3D. As you can see, we have a lot of examples for characters. But keep in mind that Dream Gaussian can also recreate elements that are not resembling characters. But that is the, let's say, the strong point of this Dream Gaussian. As you can see, currently we are in queue. So two out of two. And we have an estimated time over here. And we're gonna have a preview position over here at the top and underneath we're gonna have the final 3d model it is quite the same workflow over here for common sense machine ai so if i will go back over here i will add generate 3d model i will go to browse and i will select the same web web upload so even though the platform processes this once over here if I will add it again, there are, let's say, slight possibilities that the model will be differently. As you can see, over here within the preview meshes, it's completely differently as the previous model. So as the platforms continue to update, also the output will, uh, will be improved. We have the possibility to use model version 1.0, 1.1, but we also have Turbo and Normal. So I will pick Turbo for this one and I will hit Generate. We're going to see how this will start start to work in the, in the background. So we have that preview model. The main difference is that also this is on, the, on their web platforms. While Dream Gaussian is also on their platform, but the main advantage is that for Dream Gaussian we don't need to have an account, we don't need to register, so that's a, a really strong point for this. While this process uh, is still processing, I will um, speed up the video over here until we're going to have the model loaded. And we have the preview of this, as you can see, this is the preview mesh. And over here, we are currently in queue, two out of two, and we have again an estimated time for that one. And if I'm going to jump back to Common Sense AI, you're going to see that over here as well, a preview 3D model is being generated. Keep in mind that both for Common Sense AI and for uh, the other one, I'm not using any premium account. So this is why it usually takes a lot uh, longer to process. But again, I will speed up this section until we're going to have that model preview appear. I think that the Dream Gaussian will be the first one to be to be finished. So I'm going to keep the camera over here. And we have the final model generated by Dream Gaussian, which we see over here. I will also have this downloaded. 
we see that the download has started for this one so the file format will be glb we see that the name is quite long for this so i'm just gonna go over there and i will change the name so this will be dream gaussian And within Blender, I will have that imported. So file import, we know that the file format is GLB. Downloads, and this should be Dream Gaussian. Let's filter it, Dream Gaussian. I'm gonna enable the material. I'm gonna change it and delete the default cube. And we see that 3D model created by Dream Gaussian. So it's quite quite a mess, quite a blob. Let's take a look at the other model generated over here. So we have the preview model, which we can see. It's not exactly better. I think that the first iteration that uh, I created in the same photo was a lot better. So we see that uh, we still need to refine the model. So I'm going to have this refined. As we saw over there, um, this should take quite a while. So HD quality refine model is being generated and it will be worth the wait. But uh, this can take um, even up to several hours since I'm not using a paid version. Therefore, I'm going to go back and over here, I will open the previous generated model, which is this one. As you can see over here, we have that refined mesh and I have the possibility to download that. So the refined mesh as a GLB file, we have that download started. We see the file size is equivalent. So this is 3.8 megabytes. This is as well 3.8. And this should be mesh 10 over there. So go to file, import, GLB. Within downloads, I know that the naming was mesh. So we know that it's mesh, mesh 10, which is this one, and have that imported. And I'm just going to slightly move the chair over here. So we see on the left side, we have common sense machine. AI model and over here on the right we have um, the dream Gaussian which in this case for a chair it's a complete mess but as I said before this is mainly better at characters so I'm gonna do a case study with a character as we see over here the poses for the examples for characters it managed to do quite um, quite a good job but for that i will create a, a secondary video where i'm going to pick a character already generated on common sense ai and have that compared okay so i hope you enjoy this content regarding um, ai used to generate 3d models i'm going to position a similar video over here to the left and a subscribe button to the right so consider to support me if you enjoy this content Thanks for watching.